السميع العليم من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربي شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج عليه السلام اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم ونعنا عليهم أجمعين Respected viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. After praying for the hastily appearance of Imam al hujja alayhi wa salatu wa salam, who will come and who should come to quickly avenge the bloodshed and quickly avenge the oppression faced by the holy Ahlul Bayt and to quickly restore the sunnah that Allah has prescribed in his holy book that we have explained in our previous clip. We then recite Allahumma wa surra nabiyika muhammadan which verse we were in the hope of continuing inshallah. Allahumma wa surra nabiyika muhammadan sallallahu alayhi wa alihi. Oh Allah, please delight your prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him and his household. بِرُؤْيَتِهِ وَمَنْ تَبِعَهُ عَلَى دَعَوَتِهِ As well as all those who followed him in his propagation and promulgation by making us see him. The Imam of our time. وَرْحَمِ اسْتِقَانَتَنَا بَعْدَ And please have mercy upon our humiliation after him. What are we talking about over here? Well, here we are telling Allah to delight, to gladden the Prophet Muhammad by making Imam Zamana reappear quickly. And gladden all those who followed in the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad And who are those people? So what we are talking about is when the, when the relief shall come, when the bloodshed shall be avenged, when Rasulullah's family's bloodshed and the oppression will be avenged. The Holy Prophet will be gladdened. He will be happy. And even those people, of course, who are sad, who are the azadar, who feel for the pain of the Ahlul Bayt, they also will, of course, be glad. And then we say, And please have mercy upon our humiliation after him. What humiliation? What are we talking about over here? It's this humiliation that we cannot do anything. We can only weep. We cannot do anything to relieve the pain of Sayyida Fatima to Zahra. We cannot do anything to relieve the anguish faced by the Ahlul Bayt. We can only work hard and prepare to take part in avenging them. And then we recite, Allahumma kshif hadhihi l'ummati an hadhihi l'ummati bi hudurik. Oh Allah, please relieve this community from the current grief through presenting him. Wa'ajil lana duhura and expedite his advent for us. We are telling Allah there is a lot of zulm going on, Khodaya. There is a lot of oppression. Khodaya, send him quickly. Relieve us. Relieve our communities from this pain. Relieve us. Help us. By sending your Imam. By sending the leader. By sending him to relieve us. By eradicating this evil. And then we say, إِنَّهُمْ يَرَوْنَهُ بَعِيدًا وَنَرَاهُ قَرِيبًا Surely they think it to be far off. They, the oppressors, think that it is very far away. They don't even believe in him. But we see it nigh. We see it very near. We see that the current situation is such that any time Imam can come. And that's what I was getting at at that point when I said we will tell you later on. This is the point I wanted to bring you to. That we need to start preparing now because it's, it's already too late. We need to wake up quickly. We need to work fast. We need to do active intizar now from this moment onwards. Let's make up our minds. Let's drop gradually 
the bad deeds that we are doing and let's purify ourselves for the purified soul let's zaki ourselves for let's do our own tazkiya and nafs for the nafs zakiya so that when he comes we are pure enough as the first call to respond to him and then we say bi rahmatika ya arham ar rahimin do all that in the name of your mercy o most merciful of those who show mercy because it is among the mercy of allah that the imam of the time will come to relieve us this brings us to the last part of dua ya ahad which is the essence of this dua whereby we are now actually presenting ourselves to the imam of our time by being submissive by submitting ourselves by leashing ourselves to the imam and by renewing updating and refreshing our covenant our ahad our aqd our bay'a to the imam of the time and as we do this over this clip i will request us all to do it together and hoping that we have learned from these clips and we have made up our mind to make a change we have made up our mind to be active in tadaris for the muntazar so that way let us please together pledge this covenant all of us jami'an whereby we will recite the verse and there are two riwayahs of how we do that let us make our promise to the imam let us stop for a moment and think of what habit we are going to drop and let us all do it together now there are two ways of how we are going to pledge this allegiance to the imam according to the narrations one way is whereby we gently strike our right side with our right hand now why do we strike our right side with our right hand that is a sign of grief of absence usually when we cry when we weep we hit our thighs and that is a sign of azadari and so we gently strike our thigh three times in weeping and in pledging our covenants to the imam of our time and the other riwayah says that we place our right hand into our left hand like this as making a covenant to the imam of our time and recite the verse jamian al ajal ajal ya maula ya ya sahib al zaman al ajal ajal ya maula ya ya sahib al zaman al ajal وبحق أبا الفضل عليهم السلام